kitty no this is my food girl what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new it's me as your girl constance frederica federica federica how have you guys ever freaking been answered okay you guys, I am about to do a mukbang, a mukbang, however you want to freaking pronounce it, okay? Shout out to Sean Baker, okay? To, today is the beginning of National World, which one is it? World Carnivore Day or month or whatever. World Carnivore Month, okay? So, there's a full 31 days of eating meat only. Yes, I'm here for it. I love freaking meat, okay? So, I'm going to be eating... Ooh, wait, hold on, because I'm not about to knock this bowl over. Plus, I need that sauce, okay? So, I have crunchy chicken wings. I baked them, so they look so freaking weird. There you go. So, so, I got some baked wings, you guys, and I made a sauce. So, this is more like... Sean Baker has this thing where he does, like, zero carbs, so he basically only does the meat maybe some organ meats and like other parts of the animal like uh brain and like liver and stuff like that um so yeah it's like world carnivore month and a lot of people are eating like zero carb because like i feel like today should be like national starter diet day because i'm sure everybody's gonna be like starting these new diets and stuff so this is my sauce i have so you know, like this is butter, okay? It is butter and jerk sauce. So I put like one tablespoon of jerk sauce. Uh, yeah, so it has like one carb. So I'm actually like not zero carb. It's like one carb. But anyway, I'm just about to get started, you guys. Um, I'm about to dip this in here. I'm going to grab it. I love butter. I love meat. It's so good. Like, I've tried this. I've, I've attempted this in December. And somehow around the end of December, like around Christmas, I didn't necessarily have to eat any carbs, but I did. It was Christmas. My mom cooked, and I could have said no, but I just wanted to because... By that time, I had realized, or I had just been informed that there's something called World Carnivore Month. No, what is it called? It's called freaking National Carnivore Month. I don't know. It's a challenge, whatever. It's like January. You freaking do the whole 31 days, meat only, and water. Zero carb, okay? So, I found out about that, and I was just like, you know what? Y'all just do this in January. So I kind of stopped around Christmas time and I ate what I wanted. I still could have said no. It's not necessarily true that I was craving those foods because for the first 25 days, I had actually ate meat only. Well, I ate eggs too. And it was good. I liked it. I felt satisfied. I felt full. I didn't feel like it was hard. Like I've done keto before and keto was sort of easy, but I still would get like some cravings and stuff like that. So when I did carnivore, the carnivorous diet, it was pretty freaking cool. Like, I didn't crave any carbs or, like, certain vegetables that were, like, more starchy than others. I just I just felt so full. Every time I ate meat only, I felt really good. Um, I felt full. It was, like, a different type of full. And do you guys like this part of the chicken? So... It's so crunchy. I sort of overcooked these. But it's all good though. So like. I just ate this bone. So. There's a different type of food that I feel when I eat meat only. And I've noticed this. And when I eat keto and when I just eat like regular high carb like the meat only fullness is like it's a satisfied fullness with keto I felt like my fullness was more like I like I can feel my stomach feeling full like when I would eat keto I'd eat meat and some vegetables and stuff like that and I wouldn't be satisfied until my stomach felt like a certain type of way but it wasn't like a good thing 
and with carbs like high carb diet like the standard american diet or whatever when i would i would eat to get full but my like i would feel full when my stomach felt full so like with carnivore i just i would feel full when i felt satisfied so it was more like a i guess it was better i would say that was much better than just like gorging on carbs and stuff like that and like having like stomach full and it's like oh I hate that like I can do without that forever like that's like one of the worst feelings ever thank you so I'm excited about this and today I choose to talk about how much do you really weigh yes because I feel like a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit for how healthy they actually are. And they'll like, like today is like the day to start diets. Of course, a lot of people I think are a little bit down on themselves about how much they actually weigh, like how healthy they actually are in comparison to how unhealthy they think they are because maybe like they might have like a little gut or something or some fat or whatever. Like I think people really beat themselves up, you know, about their looks and like numbers on scale you know so you guys I gotta show you like some up close and personal you feel me so oh, let me just stretch it and see yes mm. Love crunchy wings. My cat stares when she's like, when I eat, she stares at me like intensely. She probably wants some, but she don't eat chicken, but she'll like stare, smell, and just like sit by me. You know, and like she doesn't even want it. She's just being greedy and nosy. But yeah, so like, Numbers can lie sometimes. Okay? Numbers can lie because a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of people think they weigh a lot, but if you look at your entire body composition, sometimes you can have mostly like muscle mass versus like fat and stuff like that. So like you might look at a number and be like, oh, 5, 4, 170 pounds when you know in actuality the little American BMI chart says you should be around... 145 or whatever so you'll look at that number and you think like oh I'm so fat or I'm not as healthy as I should be when you know like mm, it's so good oh my goodness it might be okay, is what I'm trying to say. The number don't always tell the truth. But I do think you can look at that number in that chart and just, like, kind of get a rough idea of where you should be, sort of, in, like, that range. But, yeah, so, like, it's so funny. Like, you'll hear, like, some people, they'll say, like, oh, I weigh, like, this amount, but... I have mostly muscle <laughs> and I think it's funny because like I feel like if people knew like like if you like incorporate other parts of the body like the bone and stuff like that I feel like bone weighs a lot like there's a lot of bone there's a lot bone weighs like so much I mean I don't it doesn't I don't think it weighs as much as muscle you know like fat 
Now that's like a whole different story. You can have like 20 pounds of protein and 20 pounds of fat and like the fat, like the protein would be like this, like this size, 20 pounds. In comparison with like 20 pounds of fat, like it would be like so huge, you know what I'm saying? So like bone density is like a thing too. So like bone weighs a lot, okay? I feel like if people knew like about bone weight, like it was like so many people walking around us like talking crap like, oh yeah, I'm five four, 170 pounds and but you ought to dismiss the fact that it's 170 pounds because 50 pounds of that is like bone, like my bone weight, you know, like people would like do that. I, I feel like it would be like so interesting if people knew like bone weight and how much it plays in weight. Girl, you know, the scale says 170, but I'm really like 120. Like if you minus my bone weight, yes. <laughs> That would be so funny. And you know, like, bone the other way a lot. I get how some people can say I'm not fat I'm just big boned okay like cause some people are like have bigger bones than others and it's crazy cause like what if you're like a really slim person like got a lot of bone and muscle it may you may look slim to the to the eyes or whatever but like if you get on a scale it might be like a higher number cause like all of this freaking protein of muscle and stuff like that and heavy bone like all the stuff that comes inside of bones like that freaking red blood cells the bone marrow and the red blood cells and white blood cells and like the platelets and the fat and like a lot of stuff are in bone okay like you guys there's a lot of stuff in bone so like you can really look like you weigh or you can you get on a scale and think you weigh a lot but in actuality you might be okay so i think a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit and if they knew the entire body composition like what their makeup was as far as like muscle to bone to fat protein ratio type of thing it probably would like like chill a little bit so how much do you really weigh okay minus your bone your bone mass how much do you really weigh So yeah, that's what I'm gonna talk about. And I just wanna know, like, do you guys like do you guys beat yourself up over your weight or what? Is today the day of all days that you really start that diet? And do you do this every year or are you okay with your weight? Let me know in the comment section. Okay? I want to do ASMR today, but I wanted to talk about a little bit about weight. But I still want to do ASMR, or I'll do that later. I just wanted to mukbang, eat, make some noises for you guys, some crunchy noises and stuff. But but the video has already started, and I've already started. I just feel like I gotta keep going, but I don't wanna go. I just wanna eat, you guys. I just want you guys to watch me eat because I know you guys freaking love food and love to eat and watch people eat because I do. I freaking love watching mukbangs. They just are so satisfying, like. Mm. 
<laughs> Bug bonds are so satisfying, especially if you're on a diet and you can't eat but the other person on the camera is eating like you really want. I feel like it is satisfying knowing that somebody else is enjoying it. Like, you know, you should be able to enjoy it, but you're dying it. So, you kind of want to see someone else enjoying it for you. Because that's my thing. That's what I like. Well, that's how I started. That's how I started watching my bongs. Like when I would be fasting, like I love fasting. I'd be doing like a juice fast or something. I'd be like, oh my god, like I would watch food videos, mukbangs, Mark Queens, oh my gosh. And I would watch these videos because I felt like I just felt so satisfied after watching them. I felt like I ate like a full freaking meal. time progressed I started to really love the sounds like the eating sound like they get to you you guys like I don't know if you guys are like a lot of people like serpent sounds some people like the crunchy sounds like that like fried chicken mix for example like it's the sound that like triggers like especially ASMR what's it called Auto autonomic sensory meridian response so like it gives you like a response like maybe you like equate it to something back that happened in your childhood or it just kind of like gives you like um feelings of it's just like it makes you feel good like the sounds like maybe take you back back to a place where like you felt good or like it like in your brain like sometimes things can like like correlations can happen like let's say like every time you eat chicken you think about your grandma you love your grandma you know, like, it'll make, like, things click. And I feel like the ASMR does that for a lot of people. Like, it actually gives you a response, uh, like, automatic response. So, it, like, it'll m maybe, like, correlate something that happened or whatever. You get, you you guys get what I'm talking about. But so that's that. And I started watching solely because of, you know, like, fasting and, like, wanting to see other people eat. And it turned to this thing where it's just like, oh, my gosh. I love some of those sounds. I'm not sure what it goes back to, but like hearing sounds, it really like, it gives me like a good feeling. Like some sounds would probably make me more calm and if other sounds I would just like be engaged or whatever. But overall I had a good feeling and I'm more so like crunchy sounds the slurpy sounds not really into but I like crunchy sounds <laughs> y'all this sauce okay it looks so terrible but it's so freaking good it's like buttery and tangy because of the jerk. So good. What did I just put down? Okay. So I feel like it, it this won't get boring to me. I actually like carnivore. And it is zero carbs, so like sauces are probably out of the question. There's some hot sauces with like zero carb, but I think the whole point of carnivore is, well, I don't know. There's a guy called Jordan Peterson and his daughter, Michaela Peterson, and they had like some autoimmune issues and they decided to go zero carb and just have only meat and water. And I think beef and water, um... 
So this whole carnivore thing, I think you could have zero carb sauces. But a lot of people do like just meat and water. And for me, I don't think it would like get boring if I did like meat and water and no sauces. Cause you get like this very satisfying feeling when you eat meat, or at least I do. Especially like the fatty meats, like the beef cuts and stuff like that, which I've learned too that I don't necessarily like beef. I like lamb. I feel like it's easily digestible, more so than beef. And lamb has always tasted better to me than beef. I've never been into like T-bone steaks or like beef steaks and stuff. I always thought they were tough. Even when they were like cooked a certain way, like medium and stuff, I just, I never was into it. But lamb to me is like, oh my goodness. It's so good. It's soft, easily digestible. And I like it. So, I chose today, though, to do a sauce because I wanted some tanginess, you know what I'm saying? Like, just butter wasn't going to cut it for me today. I wanted some tangy. I like the jerk tanginess of it. So, I use jerk. So my lightness sucks. I'm not even sure if I'm going to post this video, but I'm still going because I might post it. Lightness sucks a little bit. Sorry. It's not sunny. And I normally use natural sunlight to do my video. So I think tomorrow's going to be better. I think I have a more structured conversation. more structured conversation I think I was all over the place today because I really just came up with what to talk about and I thought about wait because it's January 1st so yeah you know like I'm just gonna keep eating these wings I think my mukbangs mukbangs and eating shows are gonna get better today was just like a little different for me but I wanted to post something because it is the first of the year you feel me I wanted to post something and I apologize if if the lighting is bad and you guys don't like my conversation, let me know in the comment section down below. What would you guys like to talk about? Give me topics. Because I like to talk about things that my viewers, my supporters also like. I don't want to just like pick topics myself sometimes I will of course but I feel like I'm a relatable person for some reason a lot of people tell me I am and I like to talk like I like to have like a cool conversation you know like something that relates to a lot of people and myself And speaking of weight, you guys, so I got these chicken wings, and you know, I read the pack, and it was just like 1.5 pounds. But I was just like, uh-uh, you kind of minus the bone weight. Like, these bones weigh, okay? Like, this bone weighs a lot. This is more like a, okay, these are wings, so it looks like a femur bone, like a human femur bone. So, 1.5 pounds minus 0.5 pounds. I'm I'm eating a pound of chicken wings, okay? I'm going to minus the 0.5 because that is a bone weight. You feel me? <laughs> One pound is good for me, okay? So this is about, was it six chicken wings or five? I think it was six. And they're not like huge.
They're not huge freaking wings. They're like medium size. Not organic, but Purdue. But I don't know if I really trust Purdue when they say they don't use antibiotics ever. That's what it says on the package. <laughs> It says that on a package, but I watched a documentary. It's on Netflix, and it's about, like, uh, animals and, you know, like, antibiotics and what's free range and what's, like, it's, like, kind of, like, the hidden secrets of, like, the meat industry or whatever. And there was a woman who raised livestock or raised chickens and stuff for Purdue and... On camera, she said that she gave them antibiotics. So it's just like Purdue. They says they never use antibiotics, but here's this lady who works for Purdue <laughs> saying they give the chickens antibiotics. So I'm not sure, but their chicken is good. It's fresh. They don't look feel it like. They don't look like they're like injected with like hormones and stuff like that. Like they're like decent size chickens and stuff and turkey wings. I get turkey wings from Purdue. But if I look at like my Whole Foods, like I go to Whole Foods and get organic free range chicken and stuff. And they remind me of like the Purdue size wings. So kind of believe Purdue on some things like maybe they don't use um, hormones and you know like the ones that get you all big and stuff but I think they probably use antibiotics so. but it's still all good I'm running out of sauce I love the eating show like there's this chick her name is Peggy Neo and Peggy she eats a lot of food I think she lives in Japan yeah I think she says it's Japan I think she lives in Japan they got really cool stuff in Japan like she watch she eats like Popeyes and like KFC like the most and stuff but they'll have like these weird cool flavored chickens and stuff like chicken flavor so i think that's pretty cool but yeah anyways so like peggy neo is so bomb and she does some mukbangs that i like because she eats more than she talks and i like I, but i love i love the conversation too don't get me wrong but i love i love the freaking mukbangs where it's like less talking, more eating. Because like I said, I know I got my satisfaction from watching people eat. <laughs> the conversation wasn't that important to me. I'm going to add a little bit more. And I can add it right here. So I love her, ooh, I love her mukbangs and I don't know, those are just more satisfying to me. Oh, I put it back so you guys can see. I'm probably at about 1.5 car, but I'm just saying. Yeah, so I'm almost done. I just wanted to like get put out a video today. I like to put out quality videos and I actually talk a lot. I'm just hungry right now. I talk a lot. I have a lot to say about a lot of stuff. So let me know in the comment section what I should I talk about. It's going to be different. You guys will see. It's going to get better and better. Okay. And but I want to put something out. Mainly because it's National Carnivore Month. And...
and I wanted to do a 31 day mukbang challenge to myself. I probably shouldn't have told you guys that I hate, I love to like tell people, well, I love to like get the whole experience and then tell the person about it later. Because a lot of times, like you might start something and you'll mention it at the beginning of something. And if you don't pull through, you'll be like, why did I tell everybody that I was going to do like this, such and such. And when you don't pull through with the whole thing and people notice, like, I don't think they take you as serious or they'll be like, okay, she's just going to like. Next time you come back, they'll be like, oh, she's just going to say she's going to do this. She's not going to complete the task. You feel me? So I like the freaking task. If my camera goes out, you guys, it's about to die probably. I love you guys, and I will be back tomorrow with more if it goes off. If not, I'm just going to keep talking and eating. But <laughs> I'm rushing now. Want to give you guys a video, and... Lit mukbangs are coming. Trust and believe, okay? And with that being said, like I said, if this camera goes out, see you guys later. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Also, comment in my comment section and let me know what type of meats do you guys like. Would you guys ever consider the carnivore diet where you just eat only meat, okay? Certain amount of time for some. You know, just to like cleanse and get rid of carb addiction and stuff like that. But then like some people, long term, maybe they'll do it for life or for a couple years or whatever or until like they feel like they've had enough. What do you guys feel about it? Would you guys, have you guys ever heard of keto, the keto diet? And these are like... I guess diets, but everyone is always on a diet. So I hate to like talk about diets or whatever. But like, I think for cleansing, because I love fasting, I love to always like try something where I can like get rid of something and see how I feel. Or like if it's like a cleansing effect, I like to try. I love fasting. My main thing is juice fasting.